As for you, the anointing you receive from him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. 1 John 2 verse 27a from the NIV. How many of you have read this verse or portion of a verse and wondered what it truly means? Is John really saying that since we have the anointing from God, we do not need to be taught by anyone? Many claim that this verse means that since we have the Bible, we do not need to submit ourselves to preaching or teaching, or that we can now hear for ourselves through the Holy Spirit and don't need teachers or even leaders in the church. But is this what John meant? Let's look at the verse in context. In 1 John 2 verse 18, John introduces an important theme in his letter, false teachers and the infiltration of their teaching among his readers. He calls them antichrists because they deny Jesus as the Christ. Now we might need another video exploring what that means, but the gist is that a group of ex-brothers have left the fellowship of believers and are now trying to push their false doctrine upon them, claiming a special anointing. This false doctrine goes against the apostolic teaching that the believers heard from the beginning. John argues that his readers do not need the input of these new teachers since they have the original message of Jesus as Christ. To quote Corin Jobes, he now reassures his readers that the discernment they have exercised in the past that brought them to faith is the genuine work of the Holy Spirit and that they have no need for anyone who teaches something new and different, no matter how spiritual such teachings may appear. In no way is John signaling the end of the teaching gift. The letter itself contains teaching and he expects the hearers to submit to it. Moreover, we see in other New Testament letters that God has appointed some to teach the congregation. According to Paul, elders ought to be able to teach, shepherds teach, and there is also a teaching gift described in 1 Corinthians and in Romans. The difference is that these teachers have been appointed to serve the congregation. They are fellow believers invested in the community and their teachings align with the apostolic truths. We do not lend out our ears to those who have forsaken the faith and the bride, not even if they claim to have an anointing. Let's thank God for the teachers that he has placed among us. Let's pray for them to remain faithful and faithful, and let's hold on to what is biblical.